Welcome to the F1 Pre-Action System Single Interlock Electric Release Reset Scenario. In this scenario, we are looking at an environment where a fire has been extinguished and the area is safe to enter. Let's go through the steps of resetting an F1 Pre-Action System equipped with the Single Interlock Electric Release. Let's start by closing the water supply control valve. Next, close the ball valve below the air maintenance device. While this isn't required, we are going to silence the alarm panel. Press the silence button on the VFR 500 release control panel. Now you will need to drain down the system. Start by opening the main drain, followed by the auxiliary drain. After the air pressure is released, the PS40 will send a signal to the VFR 500 and the panel's buzzer will reactivate. This isn't required, but we are going to silence the panel once again. Press the silence button on the VFR 500 release control panel. Once all the water has drained from the system, you can close both drains. Let's start by closing the main drain, followed by the auxiliary drain. Ensure that the system is drained prior to replacing any sprinklers that have operated or may have been exposed to excessive heat in the fire. We can now restore supervisory pressure to the sprinkler piping. To start reintroducing air to the sprinkler piping, open the air bypass valve on the air maintenance device. Once the sprinkler piping air pressure is within 5 psi of your target air pressure, close the air bypass valve and open the ball valve below the air maintenance device to finish filling the piping system. Now the release control panel can be reset. Resetting the release control panel will take power away from the solenoid valve, allowing it to return to its normally closed position. This means prime water pressure will start to be re-established in the priming chamber. Once again, we're going to silence the panel. Press the silence button on the VFR 500 release control panel. Once priming pressure is re-established in the priming chamber, slightly open the flow test valve. Then slightly open the water supply control valve. Once flow has been established, close the flow test valve completely. Now fully open the water supply control valve. After the system water pressure is restored, any alarm panels that were activated will need to be reset to clear any active alarms. Excellent, the system has been placed back in service. 